Welcome to the Vortex, the time Vortex. This is Strato Time. Lord Strato here for another episode of World of Warcraft Legion Let's Play. And uh, let's pick up where we left off from last episode. Again, if you guys are enjoying, leave a like, subscribe. Let's get on with the show. I thought that somebody else had uh, Hardwood. The sword. That Hardwood? Yeah. The one who. The one person who was going to... Is the guy down in Fort Sister with the feathers from the Yeah, from the we gave Hardwin to that creepy wizard guy. The yeah. super creepy, super suspicious one. Yeah, yeah we handed our friend over to him. Yep. Why did you do that? Exactly. Uh, he wasn't evil. We're fine. He's just creepy. Either that or he just, you know, cast a really basic spell to make it seem like he wasn't evil. Who knows? Maybe but he did do that. Oh, what? Well, who would do that? Nobody would do that. Just a okay, hard one for us. He seems super trustworthy, so I think I think you're good. And meanwhile, oh. I'm sister. No. Hard one's getting boiled down to small pieces of metal. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You oh. see, um, he looks. Um, yeah, the guy that had you, uh, hard one, is uh, when when the case opens up, you expect to see. Um, Dana or someone that you recognize, but you don't recognize this guy. And he's like, ah, hello, my friend. My my living sword. I'm not yours. Who are you? Where am I? Where are the others? Oh, I uh, bought you for... Um, for ten gold, they said that they didn't want you anymore. He might actually believe that. <laughs> Pick me up, and I will step yourself. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I know you're intelligent. <laughs> Besides, I'm not too worried about it. Uh... So, you're Sir Hardwin Hope, the mighty uh, man who stood against the trolls during the battle of uh, Andel. Or his trolls, he's mad. I ain't telling you nothing. Okay. Can you tell me why these trolls and goblins went after Fort Hope for no reason? I'm saying you nothing. You can't force me. I guess you're right. You're a sword right now. Exactly. Unfortunately, um... You're pretty right. Um, he reaches down with like a pair of tongs and picks up like the bladed part of the sword and puts you on this table. It's like I was supposed to put you, bring you back to normal, and I was paid to do so. So, Her Majesty the Queen. told me to bring you back, so I was paid, and I always do what I'm paid to do. And she never said that I had to bring you back alive. Oh boy. You cannot kill me. That's not right, no, of course not. He snaps his fingers and... You hear, he pulls out a, a symbol that uh, looks like an eyeball with tentacles around it. Kavulo, no! <laughs> and you turn into, back to your human form. Hmm. 
My master wishes to speak to you, he says, looking at you. You're about to lose your mind. I hope you liked it while you had it. And then all of a sudden you see these, like, tendrils of, uh, of, um, uh, of, um, uh, as his face, uh, reforms and turns into what looks like to be a lipid. The Dark One speaks through me and wants to know your name to know your purpose and why his children went against his rules. You will answer me these things. Alright, give me a One look. good reason to answer you. Huh? Give me one good reason to answer you. I don't think he's asking. I think he's making me because I'm pretty sure he said, "Give me a will save." <laughs> Probably. I didn't hear that. So. Uh, we'll save. Wait. I am pretty sure I added. Did I? Hard one. Keep his sanity, or does he go nuts? Okay, we'll save here we go. Uh -oh. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Oh, please, God, please. Not good enough. Three uh, uh, was not good enough, unfortunately, sir. DC uh, to know was safety. Oh, God. You missed by three. But, All right, so all of a sudden he goes, tell me, and he says in a way that like waves over you, almost like a, a, a dominate person. These are not the droids you're looking for. Yeah. You are oh, being repulsed. No. And you just find yourself just like spewing out all the information like you tell them about um, your child and all that stuff. And why the. Because he asks you specifically why the goblins attack for him. We can tell him about the chat. Did we tell him? <laughs> yes, you did. Right. Yeah, we did tell him. We told him they were coming for his kid. Yep. I had the rights to know. <laughs> you did. That's what we told you. Yep. Mm. Maybe I said good thing not to. We're hoping good thing uh -huh. not to do it this right. time. Alright, so now, for your child, you get another will save and throw because he's been asking you, why is your child so important? Since you uh, kept your child, you get another save. Oh, please, oh, please, for the love of now. God, any God, just, let me see. clear this. Will save. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! The power, the fact that you want to protect your child overpowers is dominating on you, and you're like, so you can go ahead now and role play out you refusing and just your sheer willpower forcing uh, this conversation to end. Uh, you will have no, you will get no knowledge about my son. I will tell you nothing. Nobody. He's gonna go you after don't him. Don't tell me. Or the no. I will suffer. Suffer at the hands of my lord. Cthulhu. You will suffer. And your lord will suffer. The dark one has come. Have you seen him? He will swallow this world whole. And I will destroy him. Ha! Okay. You hear a voice, like, sounds like it's echoing from afar, from his necklace, and he's like, we can get so much deep in, um, roll me now a, uh, let me look this spell up real quick, just to make sure.
I believe it's a will saving though, but let me just double check. Oh, please, that it be a fortitude instead. Yeah. Welcome back to Ender. <laughs> uh, it's William Thames for me right now. Give me a second, I'm looking at the stuff. Oh! Oh, I have forgotten all about that I, I took uh, from last se session, I took uh, Iron Will as feet, so I had plus two extra. For, you still failed uh, the first one. Uh, why is that yeah. extra? Alright, roll another Will saving there. Okay, actually, it's good. I screwed us for two now, so that's good. I just forgot about that. <laughs> yes. Beautiful! That's beautiful. Okay, so Hardwin, uh, next thing you know, uh, shocks of light come up from your eyes, and you, the elicit screams of pain. As you see, all of a sudden you feel like you're flying, and. Uh, the last thing you remember is falling, and you wake up in the middle of Fort Sister, uh, butt naked. Oh no! Um, I mean Fort Hope. You're in the middle of Fort Hope, butt naked. You can hear parties uh, like dancing and singing going on inside the the uh, tavern. <coughs> I wake up, hear singing, and I'm just like, nope, not a way around. Where are you gonna go? I will. I'll head to. Oh wait, no. That, You're that... gonna probably head to your house. Yeah, I was thinking yeah, my house. Okay. Um, you run over to your house. Um, let me see if anyone sees you. Oh god, please, no. <laughs> you, you, you streak, you're, you're like running, and you plow into somebody. Oh, fuck. Um, you turn, turn around and you see um, Lady Takoy. I do it. it. I apologize, I don't have time. Not the woman, not the woman, uh, the sister, uh, Red's wife. Wait. You Lady Red. One? Lady Red. Oh, oh this? Wait, as a fault. Yes, Lady Red, the other sister. I apologize, I don't want to tell you right now, and I want to continue to run. <laughs> she just looks at you. Okay. Yes, because Hiram right. so, don't want to embarrass himself too much. That, uh, so Diana, while you're sitting there drinking at the party, uh, Red's wife comes up to you. <laughs> like, excuse me, your majesty. Don't mean to bother you. You there, uh... Diana? Ben, Ned, Ben, there? Ben. Wait, Sorry, you? just muted uh, that. Um, sorry, what I had said was, what can I help you with? And then she said, don't mean to bother you, and I said, no bother at all, we're all enjoying the party here. Uh, um, did one of you play a trick on Hardwind, because he's quite naked running through town? Is, uh, I, can I look over and see if Nachfell's still awake? <laughs> uh, no, Nachfell's passed out. Damn it! <laughs> he would have loved this! Uh, I'm glad he's so not awake. <laughs> Fuck! Well, at least I can make fun of him tomorrow for this. No! No, no I did not, although that is good news. I'm glad to know that he's feeling himself again, apparently. <laughs> Str I say struggling to hold back my laughter. 
I'll I'll go take care of him. Is there like a like yeah. just like a, a rough like a blanket or something nearby that I can either get from in here or in like the stables or something? It's like, it looks like he was running towards his house. So I'm sure he found some clothes. All right, he's probably fine then. Yes. <sighs> I was just a little surprised. He did try to tackle me. Wasn't sure if he was <sighs> what he was doing. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I, I don't think any of us ever know what not what a uh, hard one's doing. But thank you for letting me know. I'll I'll talk to him about it tomorrow and see if he can uh, keep his streaking to a minimum. I'd appreciate that, Mister I'll uh, I won't, won't put. He probably it just had a little bit too much to drink. I'm, I'll be sure not to put this on in my report box. I would appreciate that. She she. Nods and walks away. So, the party continues for a while. Diane, you try to talk to anybody else, or you just like let go for the morning? Honestly, I think Diane's just happy that she's like she's among friends and she doesn't have to act like a queen. So she's just kind of enjoying it. Yeah. People are like patting you on the back and it's like, "Look, it's Her Majesty!" <laughs> like old friends of yours. Is it time to pipe somebody? <laughs> <laughs> So I got a question for your majesty. Do you, uh, when you take a shit, is it roiled up? Ah! <laughs> I probably hit somebody over the head for that one while laughing. Yeah. Do it on awful. Yeah. Uh, all right. So where would, so you get uh, turned up there too, man, the league, you get really drunk or no? No, when I left, I left back to the to the school. All right, but are you really drunk? No. Okay. I didn't have a single drink. Right. Well, yeah, yeah Landley's not fun. <laughs> Unless Marcus would have probably egged me on to a drinking contest, I would have just left. But since he already no, drank himself under the table with Nobel, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> when you arrive at your. Uh... In your room, you find a bunch of flowers everywhere. Uh, <laughs> taco, taco. Are they like flower petals sp spread out all over the room, or just like bunches of bouquets everywhere? Just a bunch of bouquets everywhere. She still loves you. I just <laughs> go put them in the corner. Yeah. And I will always love you. I have paperwork to catch on up here. Catch up on up here. Okay. Uh, Hardwin, what do you do when you arrive at your house? Get some clothes. Okay. Yeah, you you run in. Your mate goes, like, "Hello, love. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't oh, pay no. me enough for this. <laughs> don't pay me enough for this. I got a." I'm not I'm to have drink is my own, love. Not that I don't mind the way you look there, love. You look pretty good. I'm not Please paying just you don't to compliment on that. <laughs> I'm not paying you to compliment me, so you don't need to. Anyway, I have to get some clothes on, and I'll leave you again. Sure, sure. I found some new clothes for you on the dresser there. What happened? Your friends, uh... Yeah, uh, tell you to go skinny dipping and stole your clothes, eh? Again. Again? It's a long story. I'm sure we would have tried that at some point. I mean, it's we did. Put, didn't we put him in with the pig slop at one point? Yes, you did. Ah, good times. Hey, love, did you notice? I noticed you got a purple uh, marker on your back of your neck there. Wait, what? Yeah. I'm trying to read around to see if you can feel anything. Um, you know how when you, um, if you ever mess with, like, an octopus or something, and they suck onto your arm, you leave, like, welts on your arm, you feel those welts on the back of your neck. When I see them again, I am gonna kill the shit out of them. 
Ah, yes, I'm sure your queen will be very happy about that. Not you guys. I, I stand by what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The, um... Good thing Nothville didn't say to be like, Oh, she got a hickey from some girl. Alright. He, he just gets some close on and then heads towards the, the party at the tavern. Okay. Sounds good to me. Because the, after this, he will need something to drink to forget it all. All the way, haven't ate for a few days, probably. Diana is very open to drinking contests from most people. If anybody does challenge her, Harwin's going to. Uh, he, no, he wants to just drink himself. Harwin's going to. Oh man, that's no exciting. And yeah, no one's, no one's taking you up on that. They know oh. you're. Damn. They know Harwin, your reputation precedes me. Yeah. Harwin just yeah. kicks the door in and just look over to Diana and just point at, him, uh, at her and just say, You, me, drink contest right now, right here. Ah, you're that eager to lose again. Alright. I just want a drink right now. That's all. Well, apparently you also want a contest. That makes me easier to drink it all. Right. It makes me drink faster. Loser pays for drinks. But you are the wild queen. Yeah, so? You Don't lose. Don't lose. Don't you lose that. Whatever. Don't care. Let's just drink. I haven't accumulated my mass fortune by throwing money away. Roll a... Uh, yeah, roll a fortune save for you. And I <laughs> <laughs> I have been the sword for too long, and I just, right. I immediately at the first but, uh, swing, yeah. Yeah. I'm just Hardwin like, uh, hasn't eaten anything all day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Diana. Do I have to roll that? Do I really need to roll a fortune yeah. save at this point? Save. You both drank at the same time, so roll a fortune save. Okay. Don't roll well, natural yeah, one yourself. One. Please, Sorry. natural one. Please, natural one. <laughs> I will laugh. I want to see it. That would be hilarious. <laughs> exactly. Oh god, please. <laughs> no! Damn you. <laughs> that ain't a roll a heel check. A heel check? Yes. Uh, huh. See if Hardwood's still alive. Um, yeah, yeah Hardwood is... He... Hardwood might have been, um, saturated with alcohol before, and he is in the... Basically, uh, he alcohol poisoned himself, and he is Oh, god damn it! Um, you do notice on the back of his neck, uh, you see the, the suction marks of a lipid, and he part, you know that, um, some of his brain has probably been affected, and he what? may not be completely in control of himself right now. What? Why is it? What happened? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I asked for one know. night. One night that I could just have fun. No, Hardwin's got to show up and poison himself. <sighs> I wake up and go, Hardwin! And throw up on him. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> you know what? That might have made it a little bit better. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Nacho. I feel a little better now. <laughs> I just like throw up on his pant leg or something, and then fall back and sleep on the counter. I'll take what little joys in life I can get. Come on, let's get you to the infirmary. Yeah. I throw him over my shoulder and carry him there. I. Well, the Franklin's there. He's like, morning, no, dear God, what happened? <laughs> Hardwin <laughs> happened. Actually. Hardwin may have drank enough that he is uh, sick. Don't take one glass. As in alcohol poisoning. He looks at it, he's like, oh, it looks like he was um, interrogated by somebody very harshly. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him about that tomorrow. When he's awake and can talk. I see. The brain dead. Yeah, looking at these, these are a lipid marks, looks like. Hold on, he casts a spell on him, and then um, all of a sudden you see like a wisp of black, 
and then you see this eye appear above uh, Hardwin, and then and all of a sudden this explosion, and as the purple wisp explodes in a way, roll a uh, knowledge religion. Which you should be good at, Mr. Paladin. Excuse her. Mrs. Paladin. In my defense, being a paladin does not at all make me better at knowledge religion. Hey, you are a paladin. You know religion. There's an exactly. Episode. Well, okay. I guess yeah. this time I do. You recognize that from anywhere. That is the Eye of Cthulhu. I oh, God knew it. it! I told you! It's Cthulhu. I know it's Cthulhu. Uh, uh, now I gotta know what he told him. Told him everything, remember? <laughs> I wasn't Ooh. there. I got asked. Hey, 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 you, are. What hey you know yeah. everything. Yeah. He tells you that. Yeah, he is no position to tell you right now. You have to wait for him. Uh, do me a favor and take care of him. Thank you, Father. No problem. Well, <laughs> nothing I can do about it. I'm going back to the party. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he's a good hand. <laughs> I'm gonna have to deal with a lot of shit tomorrow. I can already Last tell. Last time you left me in some so-called good hands, this happened. Yeah. Yeah, but You're not a problem. sword. <laughs> You're not a no, sword anymore. But he did fulfill his part of the bargain, which was to bring you back. Although now I'm a little more concerned about him having three locks of my hair. Yeah. You mean three wings. feathers from your wings? Oh yeah, three feathers from my wings. I uh suddenly yeah. more concerned. Maybe you shouldn't have made that deal. Yeah, I'm cheap. What can I say? <laughs> Okay, Marcus, oh god! Uh, how cheap exactly are we talking about? Well, cheap enough. I was willing to give away part of my wings instead of paying two thousand gold, which, in my offense, seems like a good trade, as long as you're giving it to somebody who's not super sketchy. Which you did? Are you? You know you were uh, were immorals. Uh, hey, immoral. we couldn't oh, know. Yeah. We couldn't but, know he was sketchy. I don't know. He seemed nice. You could look at him. Also. Do not go. He was also suggested uh, by Lady strangers. Starchild. Yeah. Also, he was suggested by somebody I trust. And so now you might be questioning that. that. Proof? Well, she could have had her little wolf, wolf over her as well. True. True. That is true. She could have been fooled also. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Um. Since finally you weren't drinking, you're the first wake. You're pretty much up all morning, so up all night. When you wake up in the um, when you're when you know it's morning, what would you like to do? Go. Remember, you don't know anything that happened. Clean up the all the roses. <laughs> Remove all the roses from your room or what? No, I just moved them all to the corner. I'm like, I have work to do. I don't, I'm not gonna deal with these right now. And then, yes, you're gonna, just gonna let them stay there until they what? Well, if they're all in good condition, that means somebody's been coming in and swapping them out regularly. Okay. Well, they look like they're pretty fresh, yeah. Well done. You get a, um, yeah, in the morning you get a knock at the door. Yes. Hello. It's your friendly, handy neighborhood uh, uh, delivery man. Oh, uh, no, that's not a good sign. Come in. You, you see the man that you were talking to last night? He kind of walks over to you. Oh, no. Watch yourself. Be careful. He wants your body. <laughs> yes, sir. Can I assist you? Yes, Mr. Hope. Where he's at? I heard last night he showed back up here. Well, that's news to me. Last I knew, he was a sword down in Fort Sister. You wouldn't be lying to me, would you? No. I said, last I knew, that's what I know. We know that he, I also knew that he was in a particular situation where he was going to get turned back to normal. Well, 
But that's all I know. I tried asking around where he lives. I was informed that you knew where he lived. So, here I am. Can you tell me where he Don't tell him nothing. Tell him everything. No! Tell, tell him, him a, Tell him a moderate amount of things, like half things and half don't tell him about. No, no, tell him all about Novel. And make it, uh, it looks like Novel is hard one. Tell him everything, but leave out every other word when your sentence is. Yep. Wait, what? Hey, go ahead, Landler. Well, I imagine he would have been at the party last night if he was anywhere, so... I'm gonna go find Diana. Oh, God. Size. Diana might still be drinking. Not sure. <laughs> hey, I'll go with you. Okay. Or the merrier. Lolly, lolly, la. <laughs> Your choice. As soon as you walk out the door, uh, you hear footsteps behind you, but then you don't see anyone anymore. Spooky, spooky. He's really good at stealthing. Better than you, apparently. Or he cast invisibility. Well. If he just cast invisibility, I still ha I would still have a rough idea where he is. Or he's a ghost. Yeah. All, all at once. Think about that. What about all at once? Maybe so, he's an invisible stealthy ghost. Yes. Which <laughs> ghosts are actually? That's it. Could kinda, be an invisible stalker. That would be bad. Yeah. That would be a lot of bad. Wait. Why would a visible star come to talk to you about me? Why would I talk to talk him, him last night about you? I know why. Just fuck him with that staff's heart again. No, I didn't. Yes, you, you did. did. <laughs> I just told the truth. Alright. Uh, uh, you show up at Diana's place, um... The, uh... You know, the combination she has at the port of. Uh, as far as you don't hear him following you anymore and don't see him following you anymore. Hmm. Do not trust anybody. You go straight to Diana's place? Yeah, that's where I went. Okay. I go see Diana first. I don't know if he's at home or not. And I don't really trust this guy well enough to, you know, go around by myself and go straight to Hardwin's place either. Yeah. You you open the. You knock. Yep. Alright. The guy you hear a knock at your door. Yes. Breakfast is ready. I'm very confused by this statement, but I can tell it's Landley, so I open the door. <laughs> Breakfast is ready statement. Breakfast. What? Breakfast is ready? What? Looking for Hardwin. I heard he was in town last night. Oh, yeah. He's, uh... <laughs> he stumbled back in. Looks like he's back to normal, mostly. Although I have some questions for him. Any questions for him. <sighs> Do you want to go talk to him? It's probably a good idea. Let's see if he's awake. He, uh... Stormed in the tavern, demanded he get in a drinking contest with me, had one mug of beer, and then let's just go where he's poisoning. at before you tell me where he's at. That's a good point. Uh, let's go. I well, I probably actually take like five minutes to get dressed. dressed. Yeah, and out of like PJs and screwed up hair, <laughs> and then I go. Uh, so Isn't it just hard you know, being a woman? Actually, you notice that she's like disrobing herself. In front of like trying to stop her. Or? She's got to change clothes. I am just gonna keep an eye on her mostly. <laughs> okay. I know that <laughs> thing's around somewhere. Don't I don't else. think it's gonna make a move on her. It mostly wants hard one. Yeah. I think he's more concerned that there might be an invisible person staring at me, but whatever. 
I can't I stop it from dressed. staring at you anyways. Uh, Alright, so Diana, roll me a... Because uh, I don't yes. know where it's at. A what? A photo. Uh, say that again, a percentage check? Sense motive. Oh, sense motive, thank you. Wait. Roll me a sense motive check. Okay. Um, being a paladin, you have certain, like, like you can sense when something is amiss. Um, something's off about when. Suppose I, I pause for a moment. I look at her. Yeah. I just, just I, I just throw a detect evil at her just to be sure. She radiates a kind of evil you've never seen before. Oh, oh God, no. <laughs> I just gotta blink slowly for a moment. Uh, like um, a little bit more powerful than like a demonic evil, but definitely in that ballpark. Uh, give me, give if you want to have a seat here, Landley, at my table. Um, give me a moment to just go back in my room and get my clothes ready. Okay. I just kind of head back in my room, and I, I, I get dressed like with my armor and sword and stuff. Also, I just kind of give myself time to think about what that means. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, even, even with that sense and motive, you notice that her standing there, she's, she's not acting her normal self exactly either. <laughs> like, like, I was standing there kind of like glancing around a little bit like I was looking for something around you. Like, I was looking yeah. for someone else in the room. Yeah, something. But I wasn't trying to be, like, completely vocal about it. Hmm. You're not trusted. I'm not You're trying not to bluff. I'm not trying to bluff that I'm, you know. I You're think there's anybody. somebody else here. You're not trusting anybody. Hmm. You also noticed that I cut you off before you told me where his exact location was. Which is also something I don't would not normally at would not normally do. Okay. Interesting. Um so here's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Do I want to take her to see Hardwin? I'm not Why don't we go get some food first? Did you so that's a pretty good idea. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> um, I am, while I'm in the back, I'm going to, once I'm finished getting dressed, I'm going to cast protection from evil. Uh, but I'm just going to hold the charge in my hand. I'm not actually going to, like, place it on myself or anything. Okay. Uh, so then I'm going to come outside, uh, or come out of my bedroom and just kind of, as I'm walking past her, just kind of clap her on the back and say, let's go grab some food first. He's not exactly, we're not exactly in a rush to talk to him. And when I clap her on the back, I put the spell on her. All right. Um, <laughs> I do not resist because I expect <laughs> nothing from Diana. You trust it too much. <laughs> Okay. Um. So basically, she gets some bonuses against evil, but the important bit is that if she's being mind controlled, she get another she gets another save against it right there. Hmm. Diana doesn't really know what's going on since she's emanating evil, and Diana knows that Landley's not normally evil. She's worried that there's something controlling her. Okay. Well, also, I suppose I think summoned creatures. Evil summoned creatures can't attack her. Is another bit. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the other parts of this. Okay, book. when you pat her on the back, like you smacked her on the back, um, Langley, you literally like you're you're you feel like utterly sick. Give me a. Uh, um. He she like wretches. 
like like making a uh, like a puking sound that's like and just <coughs> pops forth and you just see this this just her mouth opens up and this horse just comes out of her mouth. A horse. Yeah. What, what am I making? Or am I just retching? Uh, is it just happening or is there a saving throw? Um, no, it just happens, yeah. You are somehow coughed off uh, a it's horse. Like a black horse, and it's got like full plate farting on it. And it just uh, comes out of di uh, Landley, just kind of turns and looks at you. Well, that's exciting. Can I help you? So Ark just looks at you. Do not trust it. Not a huge fan of you ta being inside my friend's body, you know. Finally, you're fine. It only took you a few minutes. You're able to see the horse, too. Yeah, I'm just kind of standing there. You know, I just puked out a horse. <laughs> you just look like, like the, you have seen a ghost. The hell? For the first time. Take me to hard when hope, the horse says. Mm, no, thank you. <laughs> of course. The city will burn. Mm, no, thank you. <laughs> How about you go home? That seems like a good idea. You are not my master. No? Would you like me to send you back to him? I say as I pull out my sword. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Diana? Yes? I think this is the horse counterpart to another one of the four horsemen. Well, he's very rude, if that's so. Child. Considering I am his queen, I would expect a little bit more respect. You're a shit stain, is what you are. Something that I haven't cleaned out my underwear properly just needs a little more scrubbing. <laughs> I think he just called you dirty. <laughs> I believe he did. I like this horse. I like it a lot. Can I keep it? Very well. If you don't take me, I'll find him sooner or later. And when it comes time, I will whip out his spleen proudly from his ass mm. and eat it for my supper. Either you're a very, you're a very me. vulgar horse. You know that? I am. I like me. You know, that's not very endearing in a horse. Uh, you don't have many friends, do you? That's, that's it very, he spends most like of his time at a tower, just like Pestilence's say, horse. Maybe if you were a little less rude, people would be more interested in being friends with you. Did you ever consider that, Mr. Horse? Do you, do you have things you want to talk about? Do you, want, do you like some tea? Do you want to have a talk? <laughs> it doesn't work. I'm going to be surprised. Uh, Diana is psychologically analyzing a horse. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I don't like tea. You sure? I, I could probably find some coffee around here. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a whole lot else. Lots of alcohol. We've got a lot of that. I could go for some milk. Some milk? Let me see. Let me see. I say, I kind of look around. Do I happen to have any milk in my home? Sure. Sure. I offer him some milk. Uh, we're friends, an uh, evil horse. I'm taking this begrudgingly shit stain. I would really appreciate it if you didn't call me that. It's kind of rude, as we've discussed. You're not really doing any good towards making me friends with you. Do you want to be my friend? I mean, we pals now. We're gonna I go would object to it. Match. Go play Ring Around the Rosies. Maybe mm, check. Not really a big fan of Ring Around the Rosies. A little dark. Never really liked that children's game. <laughs> It is a little dark when you hear the whole story behind it. <laughs> I have never heard of it. Uh, it's about the plague. That's... And say that they are the plague one, and go hunt them down and then rip them to shreds. Hmm. While that offer does sound very tempting, I'm not real big on the whole ripping people to shreds thing. No, you're more into piking. 
<laughs> Ooh, yes! We can play Who's Hiding the Fight. Do you want me to hit you harder? I say to Landily. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm like, sorry, I couldn't I... help but make that joke. <sighs> All right, Horace. What is your name? I was never named. Well, that's not very fun. Would you like a name? No. How about Rainbow? I'm thinking Rainbow. <laughs> It looks like a rainbow. Of what do you course, think? Of course, would think of a name called Rainbow. Hmm. <laughs> we can call you Piss Water. Mm. Oh my god. You mean that? That's the name of your. I thought that was the name of your boyfriend. Uh. <laughs> what did he say? I I couldn't hear you. He cut out. He said he thought that was the name of your boyfriend. My boyfriend? Hmm. You have a boyfriend? Water. Yeah, shit stained in Piss Water. I well, wasn't aware I had one. Going Aww. up to, town to fetch a pail of water. One Are fell you... down and the other one rolled after. <laughs> Are you... Oh, Rainbow, are you offering... Do you, do you want to be my boyfriend, Rainbow? <laughs> I'm sorry, Rainbow, but I'm not really looking at someone right now. But I appreciate your offer. But, you know, I figured that's what you would want. Because you like taking it in the rear all the time. <laughs> This is getting dirty. <laughs> oh, God, my God. Le Diana then shrugs and goes, eh, don't talk it, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> now, is there anything else I can help that you with today, Rainbow? Right. You know, you make good points, but I'm looking for my, my master told me to look for Hardwin and follow this woman, and so I did. So, I, I'm just a little confused. Why are you looking for Hardwin? My master told me to. And why is why did he tell you to? I don't, I don't ask my master questions. Because he wants well, to chop his balls off for making for making a woman cry. If you wouldn't mind, please let your master know that if he wants to speak to Hardwin, he can come ask me, and I will see if that's all right. How about that? I'm not unwilling to show you to Hardwin. I just need to know why. If you don't talk to me first, you may still find him. But I'm going to make it damn harder for you. He didn't tell me. I know, I know. I don't blame you. I can see he doesn't trust you very much. I'm sorry to hear that, Rainbow. But he should. if you could just let him know to come talk to me and explain his reasoning, I would be happy to help as long as it's a good reason. You see, there's a thing called, you know, servant and master. You don't tell your master what to do. They just tell you what to do. That's how it works, Sunshine might be a better, might be another name. Sunshine? I don't know. I'm kind of like an I rainbow. I like Skippy. <laughs> yeah, whatever you call me, I don't care. It should stay. Well, anyways, that's, please let your master know, Rainbow, that if he wants to talk to Hardwood, he should come see me. <clears throat> okay, we'll do. We can just stand there. Is there anything else I need, uh, is there anything else that you need from me? Nope. We're good. Oh. Okay. Now, if you wouldn't mind leaving. He just stands there and stares at you. This is gonna be hard, huh? Rainbow, are you gonna make this difficult? Are you gonna make it difficult? I'll go make breakfast. No, I... Hmm... We're going to be here a while, obviously. <laughs> yep. Well, I suppose we will be. Oh, good. I like my toast burnt and my eggs fried to a crispy ground nothingness and a little dash of children's tears on top of it. I well, I can't do anything one. about the dash of children's tears, but I can get the rest done. Thank you, Landly. I appreciate it. I, I think you won out of right. illness uh, yeah. yesterday. The horse, the horse is just being there annoying, you know. And so, uh, Napo, you kind of wake up a little headache going on. And your wife is laid next to you. Welcome. Morning, sweetie. <coughs> Morning. It was a... Ow. <laughs> it was a day. <laughs> um... 
Just want to let you know that Marcus has been running around town saying he beat you. Yes, after I had been drinking all day. <laughs> um, you got to give the man some, some, something. Come on. Give him some solace for a week. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I your breakfast is ready, sweetie. Ooh, food. <laughs> God damn you! You're the only thing about food, drinking, and killing. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nathel. <laughs> like, yes, yes, uh, this, is, this is what Nathel looks about. Oh, I, uh, Nathel, I heard uh, Dino was like looking, was looking for you. I guess. Looking for me. Uh, she, she was disappointed that you were drunk last night for some reason. She wanted to talk to you about something. Yeah, that's what Marcus told me. Trust anybody? I guess I'll eat and then go find whatever the hell it was that she wanted. Right. Like it's, it's not like she hasn't talked to me when I was drunk before, anyway. Okay, so Nathal, you you're at walking into you know the the room where Diana, you know, the room next to Diana's room. You walk in and you see a horse inside. The building. Diana looks. Are you what? Are you annoyed or like, just like? Yeah, I like to think that I made a diplomacy check. To I am sitting at this table eating and just like happily chatting to this horse about everything that goes on during my day and just inconsequential shit. And just I am doing my best to be as annoying as possible while acting friendly. Uh, you see, Diana. You, yeah, you recognize that Napple, her pretend kindness type of thing. But you see this <laughs> massive horse in there, in full play mail with, with what looks like a plate of burnt food, and he's just happily starping it up, and <laughs> and Landley's sitting there next to Diana eating as well. When you walk in. Well, oh, hey, Nathbel, I want you to be our new friend, Rainbow. Yes, I'd like you to introduce you to my new friend Shit State. That Shit State and this is this water over here. Rainbow doesn't have many friends. Mm -hmm. He looks more like a spot to me. Hmm. I don't know. I kinda like Rainbow. Although Landley wasn't a big fan of it either. What do you think, Rainbow? Should we change your name? Or Skippy. <laughs> I like Skippy. I've always wanted to name a dog Skippy. I don't know. What do you think he would be a dog keep compared him? to you? Good thing I'm not a dog. I'm a fucking horse. Well, you're about as loyal as one. I will say that. Well, c well, compared to him and his actual form, you're about the size of a dog. That's true. true. That is very true. This is true. Uh, yeah. Rainbow here came into town to... Uh, what was it exactly you said you wanted to do to Hardwin? Was it rip his spine out through his ass? Fuck him in the ass, yep. Ah, got it. Yeah, he wants to do that. Oh, by the way, uh, Hardwin is apparently back in human form. I heard he was streaking last night. I was very sad to see that you were passed out. You would have enjoyed that, I figured. Yeah, that would have been hilarious. It, it reminded him of his slop bath. Yeah. So Hardwin he is in town. Great. Good. I didn't say he was streaking in this town. Yeah. <laughs> You really need to think more before you speak, Rainbow. Seriously. I mean, last As I it, heard he was in Four Sister, and so I figured he was there. I already checked there. Did you double check? Did you make your list and check it twice? I'm not. <laughs> it's like, I'm... Nassau, would you like to have breakfast? I've already eaten. And Are you still hungry? Not really. <laughs> well... I'm more worried of why the horse is in the house instead of oh. outside in a stable. Well, the horse at least is here. You didn't get to vom at least you didn't have to vomit it out. I was going to say, the horse was originally inside Landley, which was, again, I say glaring at the horse, very rude. Um, and then... She like it. What? She seemed to like it, enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, sure, I totally knew the entire time not. Anyways... That point is a little moot at 
now. I look at Landley real quick and go, I didn't know you were such a big girl. <laughs> Shut up, Novell. <laughs> so, anyways, the horse... Uh, sorry, Rainbow. Didn't mean to call you the horse. Don't want to be rude. Um, Rainbow here needs to find Hardwin and has decided, even though I told Rainbow to tell her, his, are you male or female? I'm sorry if that's a rude question, but I'm not really sure how, what pronouns to use when I'm talking to other people about you. I don't know. You can't tell the six, eight male. Yeah, you're... I'm going to go with male because you're kind of a dick. Um, anyways, Rainbow here, uh, he didn't want to go tell his master to come talk to me and it just simply explain why he wants to see Hardwin. So, Rainbow's just standing there. And, um... I don't really want to try to make him leave. Because, like, well, he's kind of an asshole. He hasn't really, like, tried to attack me or anything. So, here we are. Eating with a horse. Wait. You Isn't that I just... Was. Wouldn't that be a lovely uh, story for everybody about a queen? <laughs> the queen sits at a table and eats breakfast with a horse. <laughs> exactly. This is really good food, by the way, man. You're a really good cook. Thank you. So the one thing she got right. <laughs> well, Landley, would you mind keeping an eye on the house while I run? Out, I step out to make a quick errand. Sure, I'll follow you too. Okay. I walk outside. Does the horse follow me? Um. Yes. Okay, I fly about 50 feet up in the air. Does the horse follow me? Yes, it does. Up into the air? Yes. Okay, cool. Just want to check. Um, I'm going to summon every ad to me. Okay. The dragon shows up. Yep. Like, oh, shit. But Hello? Ma'am? <laughs> Sorry, every ad. Why are you next to War's horse? Ah, war. See, I turned. I turned. I turned. Oh. And said, See, Rainbow. Would it have been so hard to just tell me who your master was? Shit. That's all you are, you shit stain for a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but shit. Uh, Telling everybody who I am. Oh, whoa! Thank you, you Evriad. I appreciate it. Rainbow <laughs> here has been very rude to me all day, and not very, not very nice. Every kind of like, oh, yeah, he's good to everybody. Anyways, every ad, if you wouldn't mind. Mm. Wait, yes. hold on. I need to check to see if I can telepathically talk to every ad or if I can only do it vocally. I'm not sure. Uh, he can feel his uh, his uh, emotions. Well, because he's a little bit different from me than everybody else, because he's a uh, paladin animal companion. But I don't remember how different that makes him. I think it's higher levels where you get telepathy, but I'm not sure. But you can definitely feel that he is afraid of the horse. Well, let's get to here. Uh, Lightly and Apple, what are you doing while uh, Fanny is going? Sida walks out, I grab some breakfast. <laughs> I look at Lightly and go, I lied, I was still hungry. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> when How are you not us? hungry? What a, I don't. Asleep? <laughs> I feel like that's the appropriate answer. I'm pretty sure you dream about food and booze in your sleep. Uh, Look, (laughs) my master wants to see Harpun. I know, you've explained that. Oh, if just I could show up at that time and have heard it all. Because he made pestilence cry. And or gets a little upset about these things. Uh, it's not my fault. Poor, poor pestilence. It's pretty much your she, fault. She was the one who forced this on me, not the other way around. 
do, do, do you do you tell the horse that uh, he has a baby with pestilence? No, not the horse knows. Don't mention that. The horse probably knows. Sure, that. everybody knows. Do you think horse... pestilence would be very happy if you pulled Hardwin's spine out of his ass? Probably not. But more wants to talk to him anyways. I know. Wants to know his intentions with the pestilence. Tell you what, war can talk to Hardwin, but I don't want war harming Hardwin, at least physically. Mentally, well, yeah. Uh, There's not much mentally to harm. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what. Otherwise, you can follow me around for the rest of the week because I'm not going to go see Hardwin. Did you get the whistles from Pestilence? <laughs> did we get any whistles from Pestilence? Yes, you did. Okay. Yes. Blow the death whistle. I would play the death level. Please the go death out of town whistle. first? I thought he, he was... He's the one that's in charge of the four horsemen. He's the only one that can tell death more what to do. Maybe leave town first? It's <laughs> very risky. It might be easier just to let him kill hard one. <laughs> no! No! Well, that's that way of thought, too. Sometimes I, I wish I wasn't a paladin. I would kill war if you... If you tell me to uh, be killed by war, I will kill war instead. I'm sure you would, buddy. Did you tell me Hardwin was in a drinking contest? I did. And I watched the horse walk out after you. You know, I think I know where Hardwin is. Let's pick one off. Do we go grab him and try to drag him out of town while the horse is distracted? No. <laughs> This is Harwood's fault, not mine. You blow the death whistle or not? Well, definitely not right here. I mean, I'm thinking about it. Honestly, I'm not sure I want to. Like, death is... Phew, he's death. And, uh, well, I like Hardwin, and he's my friend. Well, he's my... Knight. He's something. He's uh, your knight. Sure, let's go with that. that he's my knight. You... You don't uh, pronounce him as a knight, I don't remember. really want to risk killing the entire town just to keep Hardwin alive. That doesn't do that. You can control his powers. The other one of us can. And how does Death feel about me? Does he also call me Shitstain? I don't know. Call, call him in by now. I have no idea. No, take the chance! War doesn't like you because you worship Pansy Fruit Melon. Because I worship what now? The Pansy Fruit Melon. The Pansy Fruit Melon? Yeah. I'm very confused. That's what he calls a god. Yeah, the, you, you're, you're intelligent enough to know he's probably talking about Elia. He's Not talking about who? Helion, on a positive energy. Oh, I don't worship Helion. You seem to be a little misinformed. <laughs> mm, you're wearing his crown on your head, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I acknowledge him. I don't worship I hate the horse. Can I kill it? <laughs> well, I actually, I worship Yamade, the holy god of vengeance. But, you know, we'll go with Helion. Sure, why not? He says where with the gold dragon next to him. Yeah. No offense, every ad. Like Halion's cool. I recognize him, but it's uh, you worship somebody for a hundred years, you kind of get stuck with them. Yes, but you also promised to withhold the teachings of. Oh, uh, don't worry. I do. I do. I do. Okay. Well, just, just saying. Answer the day the two gods uh, go to war with each other. Well, why don't we go talk to Mr. Death? Yeah, probably No, good. please take me with. I want to talk with Death too. Yeah, that would defeat the whole purpose in talking to Death. Exactly, I want to do it anyway. I want to speak with all the horsemen. So do you, are you going to go alone, or are you going to come back and grab me or not, Phil? Uh, I... Mm, definitely not going to grab not, Phil. All right. <laughs> You have the diplomacy of a rock. Hey, hey, hey no. Specifically, no, a rock that somebody is holding and beating the other person to death with. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Actually, <laughs> I <laughs> Alright, that works too. I think the work have more diplomacy than him. The diplomacy. I killed them and then asked them to surrender. <coughs> so are you going to go outside of town before you summon death? Or? Definitely. Very outside of town. Very, very outside of town. Like several miles. Alright, where are you going? Alright, who are you breaking with you? Every ad doesn't need to come. Okay. Me. I was planning something different when I summoned him, but it doesn't matter now. Um, <clears throat> so I apologize for interrupting every ad by summoning him and say he can go do what he would like. Uh, definitely not going to bring hard one. I'll be with you when you summon death. Mm. Are you going alone, yes or no? That might not be a bad idea, just or in case. are you going to grab one other person? Me! Nobody wants to take you. <laughs> Why not? Because then Rainbow will just kill you, and because I won't have to talk to death. Because you're the I'll kill the that Rainbow I... first. You, you won't death. kill anything. You're poisoned. I don't care. I won't kill anything. That it's, uh, they are... Of course, I'm not going to be a fighter. I am going to go talk. I'm going to go talk to Death. I am just going to bring every ad, and I suppose Rainbow. Damn you. Uh, on that note, do we need to go, Landley? Do you need to go? Probably, yeah. but I figured you'd finish up the conversation with Death first. Basically, I didn't know how this was going to go, so I don't know if it's something where we should go ahead and have it, or if we should put it off until well, next that's session. That's just Landley. Do you want to have the conversation now, or do you want to put it off? Like, I'm kind of expecting this is probably going to be something that'll take like half an hour for me to have this conversation with him. All right, then we'll probably put it off till next round. Okay. All right. So next week, find out what happens. Will Diana cause death to at least the four horsemen, or on Hardwin? Oh, oh will is, Hardwin is, Hard, die. is Hardwin Hope going to cause the end of the world? Yes. No, no, no. I will not. I will save it. Hardwin wants to talk to Death and be like, turn me into pestilence. Hardwin, I want you to know, you have come closer to ending this world than anyone that Diana has ever met. <laughs> I will I will become all four horsemen at the same time. And die horribly. Hardwin's starting to sound a little like an old friend of ours. Maybe it's time to put him to sleep. No, no. Listen, yeah, I'm doing Maybe we should have just left him you. as a sword. Mm. I told you would leave him as a sword. Nobody he wants could to have been him. pretty good for uh, for Nothville's horde. It would have been pretty good horde piece. No, now we should have we should have sold him to the staff. Maybe we make him a special sheath that's got a permanent silence on it. <laughs> Listen, just try to protect everybody. All right, everyone gets two thousand experience points. Two thousand. Yes. Go ahead, sign us out there, Jack. Hold on, I'm just grabbing that 2,000 experience points real quick. Alright. Does Harden get less because he passed out? No. And got poisoned. Yes, I got a little old. Good. <laughs> he got his brain eaten. I just show you about uh, things as well. I am the one who has everything happen too. I'm the one who, is, who comes in most trouble. I just show you for trying to at least uh, do it good again. <laughs> well, I do hope everyone enjoyed this episode. Um, if you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe. We'll see you next uh, next round. As for now, this is Strato Time or Strato signing out.